You are looking at the new Ohio graduation test calculator that must be used on every OGT math test. If you notice here, there's a little different changes. The difference between this calculator and the calculator used previously is that you have to, when entering the, entering the equations, you have to enter it exactly as you see it. So if you wanted to enter a negative 3, you'd have to hit the negative first and then the 3. And let's say we wanted to add 12 to it, add 12. So this would represent negative 3 plus 12, and it equals 9, or 12 minus 3 is 9. You'll notice that there's different functions here. Um, all the yellow markings are you have to use the second button with these yellow markings, just like the inverse on the old OGT calculator. Here's some parentheses. So let's say we want we wanted to enter 3 squared and so we would put 3 and then the squared button here and that would give us 9. Now let's say we wanted to enter a quantity of negative 3 squared. Well we need to enter a parentheses with a negative 3 to square it because then that will square the whole thing inside the parentheses which will be negative 3 and our answer would be 9. Now if we did not use parentheses we would get a different answer because it's only squaring the 3 and not the negative 3. So be careful with that. Make sure on this new OGT calculator, exactly how you see it, you enter it in this calculator. Using percents. If we wanted to find 15% of $80, how you would enter it in this calculator? Would you press the 15? And you notice here that there's a percent sign right above, right below the parentheses. So we would hit second, the left parentheses would give us 15%, and then times 80. And so 15% of $80 would be 12. Finding scientific notation. If we had this number, 12,543, and we wanted to change this to scientific notation, how we would do that? is to this degree symbol, this is scientific and engineering. So if we press the second degree button, we can change it from a floating decimal to scientific by erring to the right over, hitting enter, and hitting enter again, and we will get the scientific notation of the 12,543 number would be in scientific notation 1.2543 times 10 to the fourth and you have gotten scientific notation. If we wanted to go back, we would go second degree, or over to the left, floating, and this will give us our regular number. Fractions. At the party, you ate five-sixths of the pepperoni pizza and one-tenth of the sausage pizza. How much pizza did you eat? You would enter the fractions exactly like you did the old calculator. You'll notice here that this is the ABC button to enter fractions. And so, how to solve this problem, we would go 5 ABC 6, which would represent 5 6, plus 1 ABC 10, and that would represent 1 tenth, which would give us 14 fifteenths. Now, if we wanted to solve this problem, 3 and one half divided by one half, we would enter it exactly like we would enter it as we see it. So we would go three, ABC one, ABC two, which would give us three and one half. And we would hit the division symbol, and then one ABC two equals, which would give us seven. Let's say we had this number. 5 and 3 fourths. Now this is a mixed number. An added feature on this calculator, which is very important to know, is if we wanted to change 5 and 3 fourths to a decimal, this F to D button here can change a fraction to a decimal and a decimal to a fraction. So if we want to change 5 and 3 fourths to a decimal, we will push second PRB and hit enter, and this will give us 5.75. Now what's interesting about this is we can also hit second fraction and decimal again and it will change it back to a mixed number. 
Another thing this calculator does that the other OGT calculator didn't do is this 5 and 3 fourths we can also change to an improper fraction by using this mixed number to an improper fraction and an improper fraction to a mixed number button. So we can put second ABC button and this will change 5 and 3 fourths to an improper fraction which is 23, 23 fourths. We can also change it back by doing the exact same process and I'll change it back 5 and 3 fourths. A couple last important steps for you to think about. Remember, your calculator follows the order of operations. So if you had this problem, 5 plus 8 divided by 66, and you wanted to add the 5 plus 8 first, you would have to arrow to the left, go second, insert, and insert a parenthesis in between the 5 and the plus 8, so it will do the operation 5 plus 8 first, and then it will divide the 66 following the order of operations. Remember, always enter it exactly like you see it by using the order of operations and putting parentheses in it. Also, here are the sine, cosine, tangent, trigonometric functions. Here's a pi button. Here's a power button. And if you have any problems and you cannot get it reset back to where you need it, you can go second and this zero reset button. And it will ask you if you wanted to reset. And if you don't, no or yes, you arrow over to the yes and hit enter. And you will be reset to the proper calculator type functions. Hope you do well on the OGT test. Good luck.